Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. So a question here from Mark on the email. Mark's writing in, he says, Hi Matt, I'm trying to switch from DSLR into mirrorless camera, mainly because of the weight bulky factor of DSLR compared to mirrorless. I have an Icon D3200, bought it almost five years ago. Mostly I use this camera for taking photos only during my travel. Now I'm thinking to switch to mirrorless camera because it's smaller, lighter, and have the same capabilities as a DSLR. I'm having a dilemma choosing between these three mirrorless cameras, the Sony a6000, the Lumix GX85, that's the Panasonic, and the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II. All these three cameras have a similar price point at my country, but the Sony a6000 was released three years ago compared with the other two cameras which are newer. I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, thanks, and that's Mark from Jakarta, Indonesia. Well, thanks very much for your question, Mark. Interesting um, question and interesting selection that you're looking at here. I did make some notes over here somewhere. Um, basically, of the three you're looking at, because I have an alternate suggestion, but I want to answer your question specifically to the three you're looking at. If I was only shooting photos, I would look at probably the A6000, because out of the three, it's definitely got the best image sensor, it's larger, it's an APS-C, and it's a very capable camera. I'm not as big a fan of the Sony lens selection, but you could get around that. You could even get around that with adapters and whatnot. Um, for a combination of both, I would probably look at the Panasonic GX85, um, because it offers the best of both worlds. The EM10 Mark II, I guess if you're into that, I just never been, the, the Olympus is capable of some good image quality, not bad video. They've been a little behind on video up until recently. Um, I'm not going to say it's a bad camera. I'm just not a big fan of the Olympus cameras. I don't like their menu system. I find them clunky to work with. Um, but I, I'm not knocking that so much as it sounds like I am. It's just a personal preference thing. It's just, I'm not, I've owned a few of them. I've got some great images with them. I was never a big fan of the earlier versions. I think it was the EM10 Mark I I had. Um, wasn't very good for video at all. Um, so I would go, for me, GX85 or A6000. And actually, between the two, I would go with the GX85 because I like the lenses better. And I think it's still capable of very good image quality, even though the micro four-thirds sensor versus um, APS-C. And, and interestingly enough, in this situation, I would rather have the Micro Four Thirds GX85 than the APS-C Sony A6000 because I really don't like the um, lens selection in the Sony. And I actually don't like the Sony menu system as much as I do with the Panasonic. So Panasonic is a wonderful camera to use, shoot, and work with. Um, it has some great lenses, it's great 4K, uh, and very decent image quality. So that's the route I would go. The other contender I would throw into the mix would be have a look at the Canon M50. Really nice camera, mirrorless, small and light, full APS-C Canon sensor, uh, great touchscreen, very angle LCD, and a great, it's, well, I'm not going to say great, it's got some limitations, but it does have 4K. But you've also got dual pixel AF, which those other cameras don't have. So a great uh, wild card to throw in there. It's one of my favorite cameras right now. I think it's one of the best values from Canon. I think it's, it's really showing Canon coming around. And we're going to start seeing 4K and some other innovation and things from Canon. So something else to consider. So for me, Panasonic GX85 of the three you noted, but I would heavily look at the M50 from Canon as well. Let's throw that back to our viewers. What do you guys think? What would you do in this situation? Would you go with the A6000, the Panasonic GX85, the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II, uh, or is there another wild card? I said, I threw in the Canon M50. Is there something else you think you should look at? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Sometimes you guys throw in something and they go, hey, I hadn't thought of that. Uh, and it's great for our viewers to, to hear that extra feedback. Thanks, Mark, for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.